Hello everyone and welcome at wishforgaming.com channel. Today we'll perform unboxing of new Warhammer Age of Sigmar starter set, Soul Wars. As you can see the artwork on the box is very nice and to be honest the whole boxes are pretty heavy. On the back side you can see some information about what's inside, you can see some nice pictures of Storkans Eternals and uh, Nighthound miniatures and the idea about how they will look after the painting. So let's see what we'll have inside after we remove the foil. First we have to remove the cardboard cover and after we'll do this we can see with our eyes a very nice artwork of the box which uh, holds the miniatures inside. It's a very light uh, box but there are many miniatures inside so we can take a look at them later. The next we can see is a toilet core book with uh, rules for Warhammer Age of Sigmar and I think that's, that's what's the, what makes the box uh, a bit heavy and we can see a foilet uh, pack of uh, additional books uh, and some war scrolls inside we'll take a look at them later let's go what's more inside we have to remove this cardboard uh, again and we can see that inside we have some additional uh, leaflets, uh, some information about next steps, and about what miniatures we can buy to expand our collection. And also we'll have uh, a sample chapter of a Soul Wars novel by Josh Reynolds. Also there are very nice blue emerald dice and there is also a 12 inch transparent ranger ruler. Also there is a, a transfer sheet for uh, Stormcast Eternals and some bases for some of the biggest uh, miniatures. Let's put this everything aside and first of all let's try to take the foil from the first pack of the books and war scrolls and what, let's see what's inside. First what I grabbed are war scrolls for Nighthound. We see some here, some China's Horp war scroll, Glaive Rides Stalkers, Greenhast Reapers, Spirit Torment, Lord Executioner, Guardian of Souls, Knight of Shroud, and we are back uh, again at the beginning. The design of the war scrolls is very nice uh, in touch and also at the back part of the war scroll there's a very nice graphic with the name of the uh, miniature which it uh, concerns. So let's for this moment put them aside and let's take a look what's uh, inside the 
sealed War Scrolls from Stormcast Eternals. I have some problems uh, removing the uh, paper seal because it was uh, very tightly packed, uh, but uh, I made it. Uh, and uh, let's take a look. First of all, we see a small book uh, War Scroll with uh, the information for Lord Arcanum. Uh, next we see the, some work for Celestial Ballista, for Castigators, for Sequitors, Evocators and Knight Incantator. So that's all of the War Scrolls for Stormcast uh, Eternals and also we can see a very nice graphic at the back part of it. Let's put them uh, to the Nighthound uh, War Scrolls. Next we can see is a Soul Wars uh, manual for uh, assembling the uh, miniatures. It's pretty same what you can find in every uh, Warhammer starter set. Uh, it's designed to focus on Stormcast Eternals and Nighthounds. Next is a Start Here small booklet with a very uh, basic information about the factions of Tomcat Eternal and Night Counts and some sample scenario which is designed for the first time Warhammer Age of Sigmar players. Next we have a Core Rules uh, small uh, book uh, which is pretty the same what you can find in the free PDF on the Games Workshop website. Next booklet is a Battle of uh, Grimsford. Inside you can read about the conflict between the free city of Glimforge and the forces of uh, evil necromancer Nagash. Mostly it's focused on the units uh, that can be fielded uh, both on the Stormcast Eternals and Nighthounds part. Next, after I will remove the foil, we'll take a quick look uh, about the design of the whole hall. Exactly the same book but you can buy separately from the Games Workshop and it has all of the informations about the history of this world and also core rules and scenarios that you can play uh, in your Age of Sigmar games. It's very nice designed and I have to admit it's a solid piece of book. Now let's take a quick look what we have inside the box with the plastic miniatures. There are bases with different sizes and I will show you now the each frame uh, what's inside the box but first I will have to make some uh, more room for this. So there are separate frames uh, for the night count and separate uh, frames for Storka's eternal uh, miniatures. I have to tell you that the quality of this starter set is very good. The mold lines uh, are uh, very hard to, to see and uh, when I assembled some of these miniatures uh, later I really didn't have any problems uh, doing it. Also I uh, encountered some uh, hard uh, times when I assembled uh, Stormcast Eternals because the connection lines were visible at the shoulder part and even if I pushed two parts of this uh, miniature together it was very hard uh, to, to uh, hide them. I have to admit that the total quality of the starter set is very good and in my opinion Games Workshop is doing a very nice work rising up the bar with every next starter level they uh, create. I can fully recommend you this starter set because it's a uh, very good quality. You have over like 50 miniatures inside the core book for the Warhammer Age of Sigmar. 
it will be a good choice both for the new players and for the veterans who want to expand their miniature collections and get new rules for the new edition of Age of Sigmar. If you liked this unboxing, please subscribe to my channel and check out wishforgaming.com for more information and materials. See you there! Thank you.